Ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what's really happening up there? I've been digging into the latest updates and let me tell you, the pace is absolutely breathtaking. China's space exploration is moving at a speed that's hard to wrap your head around. We're talking about a fully operational space station hosting mind-bending science, a telescope that will map the cosmos, and concrete plans for a lunar base. This isn't distant future stuff, it's happening right now. Stick with me to get the full story on these incredible leaps. And if you're as fascinated by this as I am, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss an update on these galactic breakthroughs. Last year was the year that marked a major milestone for China's space exploration. The space station became a fully active research platform with rapid growth in scientific work. A total of 31 new projects launched, covering life sciences, microgravity physics, and energy research. Nearly 868 kilograms of equipment reached orbit, while 84 kilograms of space-tested samples returned to Earth. More than 150 terabytes of data streamed back, giving researchers a rich source for new findings. One key breakthrough was China's first mouse experiment in space. Mice lived on the station for two weeks, allowing direct study of mammal adaptation and microgravity. This supports future long-duration human missions. Another important project tested lithium-ion batteries in orbit, improving power systems for spacecraft. Together, these efforts show strong technical reliability and steady progress. China's space exploration is advancing astronomy with its new space telescope, Zuntian, also known as the China Space Station Telescope. Before launch, scientists completed a full digital simulation of the mission. This system recreates the telescope's optics, sensors, and data flow with high accuracy. It allows engineers to test performance, adjust observation plans, and reduce mission risks early. The results appeared in a leading astronomy journal signaling strong scientific readiness. The telescope features a powerful 2-meter mirror, a wide field of view, and broad wavelength coverage. It can study distant galaxies, dark matter, and stellar evolution. After launch, it will orbit near China's space station and dock for maintenance or upgrades. This design extends its service life. The telescope blends manned and unmanned space technology. China's space exploration is entering a new phase with clear plans for deep space missions. On Space Day, April 24, China will release detailed strategies that focus on long-term lunar exploration. The core effort is Phase 4 of the Chang'e program, which includes Chang'e 6, Chang'e 7, and Chang'e 8. The goal is to help build a basic research station at the Moon's South Pole by 2030. Chang'e 6 will return soil from the Moon's far side, marking a historic first. Chang'e 7 will search for water ice at the South Pole, a key resource for human activity. Chang'e 8 will test resource use and construction technologies. Together, these missions prepare for a sustained lunar presence. Space Day events also promote public interest in scientific exchange. Look up, China space exploration has crafted a home in the sky. The Tiangong space station grew from a single module to a full complex in just five years. It started with the Tianhe core module launch in 2021. Now, it is a vibrant outpost 400 kilometers above Earth. This was not luck, it was precise engineering. The station now hosts advanced experiments around the clock. It is a scientific powerhouse in microgravity. With the Shenzhou-21 crew aboard, work continues tirelessly. These astronauts live and research in orbit for months. Their efforts support broader goals, like a manned moon landing by 2030. China's space exploration uses Tiangong as a testbed. Every system checked here aids future deep space trips. The station's transformation mirrors China's rapid space technology growth. From empty orbit to bustling lab, the change is dramatic. It shows what sustained effort can achieve. Tiangong is not just for China, it welcomes international collaboration too. Experiments from other countries fly there. This shared knowledge benefits all. The station also prepares astronauts for longer missions. Living in space teaches lessons for Moon and Mars journeys. Human spaceflight advances with each crew rotation. The journey is indeed just beginning. As Tiangong thrives, it signals a permanent human presence in low Earth orbit. For China space exploration, this is a cornerstone. It proves their capabilities and ambitions are real. The assembly required multiple launches. Each mission docked with precision. The robotic arm played a key role. 
it moved modules and assisted spacewalks. This demonstrated advanced space technology. The station now has living quarters, labs, and exercise areas. It is a self-sufficient habitat. Astronauts conduct microgravity research daily. They study fluid physics, material science, and biology. These experiments have practical applications. They can lead to better medicines, alloys, and energy systems on Earth. Tiangong also tests closed-loop life support. Recycling water and air is crucial for long voyages. China Space Exploration is mastering these systems. The station's success boosts national pride. It also inspires a new generation of scientists and engineers. The international partnerships are growing. Countries send experiments to Tiangong. This collaboration promotes peace and progress in space. The station is a symbol of what humanity can achieve together. It is a testament to careful planning and execution. The five-year transformation is a milestone. It sets the stage for even grander projects. China's space exploration is here to stay in orbit. China's space exploration has shared a powerful visual record of Earth from orbit through new videos and photographs taken aboard the Tiangong space station. Released on World Photography Day, the collection includes 16 high-quality images captured by astronauts using three onboard cameras. These visuals show Earth's curved horizon, vast oceans, cloud systems, city lights at night, and active thunderstorms. Beyond their beauty, the images serve real scientific value. They support weather tracking, environmental monitoring, and atmospheric studies. Time-lapse footage helps scientists observe climate patterns and urban activity from above. This video has also revealed daily life on the space station, both inside and outside the module. Astronauts document their work, movement in microgravity, and routine tasks. This openness helps the public connect with life in orbit. Capturing such imagery requires advanced space-grade cameras that can operate under radiation, vacuum, and extreme temperature shifts. The success of these visuals highlights China's technical strength in space imaging systems. These images also play a practical role. Engineers use them to verify station orientation, camera calibration, and mission safety. At the same time, they support education. Students can study geography, climate change, pollution, and deforestation using real orbital data. The photos and videos spread widely online, drawing global attention and engagement. This response shows the unifying power of viewing Earth from space. By sharing these perspectives, China Space Exploration promotes scientific awareness, public interest in STEM, and a shared responsibility to protect the planet we all call home. To prepare for space, China's space exploration goes underground. Astronauts recently completed a grueling cave training program. It was China's first such effort, similar to European Space Agency courses. Held in Chongqing's mountains, 28 astronauts split into four groups. Each group spent six days and five nights in a cave. Conditions were harsh, cold at 8 degrees Celsius and humidity near 99%. Caves mimic space's isolation and confinement. They are perfect for testing limits. The astronauts explored narrow passages, climbed cliffs, and endured dampness. They faced physical and mental hurdles. Fear of darkness and sensory deprivation were real challenges. Tasks included scientific work like sampling microbes and mapping caves. instructors through in emergencies, like mock medical evacuations. This tested quick thinking and teamwork. Astronaut training here builds skills for spacewalks and station life. The physical strain matches extravehicular activities. China Space Exploration invests in such preparation to ensure mission success. One astronaut noted how cave training sharpens leadership. It teaches crew management for future space stations. Psychological resilience is a core goal. In confined spaces, astronauts must cope with stress and uncertainty. This training strengthens their minds and bodies. Human spaceflight demands versatility. By conquering caves, they prove readiness for cosmic challenges. China space exploration leaves no stone unturned. Every drill on Earth translates to safety in orbit. This holistic approach sets a high standard for astronaut capabilities. The cave environment is unpredictable. It forces adaptability. Astronauts used ropes to ascend and descend. They crawled through tight spots. This improves their mobility and problem solving. They also conducted independent research. 
they collected microbial and sediment samples. This hones their scientific exploration skills. The training simulated the isolation of a Mars mission. Communication with the outside was limited. This tests their self-reliance. The psychological resilience gained is invaluable. It helps them handle long-duration spaceflight. The CAVE program is now a permanent part of training. It will prepare crews for lunar cave exploration too. Moon caves could shelter future bases. So this training is forward-looking. China space exploration is proactive. They anticipate challenges and train accordingly. This reduces risks during actual missions. The astronauts' feedback improves the program. Each iteration becomes more realistic. The success of this training shows organizational maturity. It highlights the importance of ground-based analogs. These simulations are cheaper and safer than space trials. They build a strong foundation for deep space adventures. The astronauts emerge more confident and cohesive. This directly benefits the space station and beyond. The Tiangong Space Station continues to serve as a powerful Earth observatory for China space exploration. Footage released from the Tianhe module shows sweeping views of Earth, including oceans, land masses, cloud systems, and atmospheric patterns. The video was captured by astronauts from the Shenzhou-21 mission, which began in late 2025. The four-member crew will spend six months in orbit, combining scientific research with daily station operations. Beyond visual appeal, the footage has real scientific value. Earth observation from orbit supports climate monitoring, disaster response, and environmental analysis. Astronauts use these images to help calibrate instruments and track weather events such as hurricanes, wildfires, and seasonal changes in ice and vegetation. The station's orbit allows coverage of many regions, offering a broad view of global conditions. The imagery also documents human engineering in space, with solar panels and station structures set against Earth's surface. Capturing stable footage in microgravity requires skill and training. These releases help connect spaceflight with the public and support STEM education. Data from Tiangong is shared with researchers, strengthening global scientific cooperation. Through Shenzhou-21, China space exploration shows that long-term human presence in orbit is now reliable, productive, and increasingly routine. China space exploration reached another major milestone as the Shenzhou-20 crew completed their fourth successful spacewalk. During the six-hour operation, two astronauts worked outside the Tiangong space station to install debris protection devices and inspect external equipment. The task was supported by the station's robotic arm and ground control teams. This marked the first spacewalk performed by astronauts from China's third recruitment group, highlighting the strength of the country's training system. The crew has spent more than 150 days in orbit and carried out a high number of experiments, making Shenzhou-201 of the most active missions to date. Conducting four extravehicular activities shows strong operational confidence, as spacewalks demand precise coordination and carry high risk. The newly installed debris shields improve long-term safety by protecting the station from micrometeoroids and space debris. Equipment inspections help prevent failures before they occur. The mission also confirms the station's habitability and the reliability of life support systems during extended stays. Use of the robotic arm reduced astronaut fatigue and risk. Each spacewalk refines procedures, tools, and suit design. These experiences support future goals, including lunar missions and long-duration deep space exploration.